What is going on guys, I'm the Goosen Gaming and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This game is a heck of a lot like Mountain Blade, except it's a little bit more on the realistic side of things, with a little bit of a storyline to it, from what I've heard. And um, it's made with CryEngine. The last game I played made with CryEngine was Crisis 3 and that game was beautiful. It basically became a glorified benchmark. But today we're going to be starting a new game. I have played a little bit, I literally didn't get past the tutorial, I just wanted to like, get the controls so I didn't spend like the first episode trying to figure out the controls. As you can see, right there. So, let's do this! I'm going to see, I'm going to try my best to keep quiet doing cutscenes and things like that. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorching day. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger-bed. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself with all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Hmm. Oh. 
So yeah, in this game we actually play as Henry, that character. Um, and a lot of well, my friend was here yesterday when I was, when I was playing this, and he says he looks a heck of a lot like me. No idea if there's any truth to that because I've no idea what I look like besides a mirror. But then again, we all perceive ourselves differently. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I got wasted. But okay. Oh, this is cool. Um, this, um, like, you see how at the end there's stuff in brackets, speech, agility, vitality, and strength. Um, in this game, you can basically go throughout the entire game um, as a diplomat. There's going to be some fighting, which you're going to have to do here and there, but essentially you can run through this entire game as a diplomat. Or you can run through it as an archer or a warrior. Me? Just for the early parts of the game, I'm going to... Focus on strength. I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. And then you see here again, um, like, why would I be interested in sword fighting? That's Gives you speech points, same with agility, vitality. But again, beginning of the game, there's not really that much you can do along the speech line of things. So I'm gonna go. Hey, never mind. I'm gonna go one speech, one strength. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry. But you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Yes, he does. Cool. Um, I'm going to end the dialogue here. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Uh, breakfast is on the table. Is that my breakfast? Ooh, cheese. Give me some cheese. I need some more. I need some food. Because food, sleep, no. food and sleep, all of that is actually very, very, very important in this game. One of the only ways you can save is by completing a quest and or going to sleep. Or the start of a quest. Oh. This game is beautiful. It's amazingly beautiful. Why must I go over there? Let me see. Oh no, wait, this is the. See, that's me. Okay, that's my sword fight. Oh, I'm not gonna go there yet. Why are they gonna speak to me or that? Oh. Come here, I need your help. Hello. Sound like Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Night is dark and full of terrors. Okay, no, At least not... you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. Okay. I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Okay. So first thing I'm going to go grab is the cross guard. Bag of charcoal, collect it, cross guard and ale. Okay. Hello, guys. Oh, the textures haven't loaded in yet.
Robbie, with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the crossguard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Um... Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. Thank you. Certainly will. <laughs> After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Okay, sorry. I thought my audio was turned off. Meanwhile, I actually just turned down my headphones. Oops. But now, okay, I've got the cross guard. I'm gonna go handle Kunesh. Look at this. I can see my feet. Not many RPGs you can see your feet. Jeez. This game is beautiful, honestly. It's. Personal opinion when it comes to game engines Frostbite for physics, cry engine for visuals. Okay, I'm gonna have to kick your ass. Oh, sorry, low times are taking forever. Whoa. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Yes, I screw you. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. Yeah, you see, yeah, this is a cool thing. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference in how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. It's influenced mainly by your strength and the decent uh, and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment, but other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. Now that's a cool thing about this game, when you fight and let's say you kill someone, or like you get into a first fight and you knock them senseless. Um, and they manage to get a few hits on you. You actually get um, cuts on your face. Your lips starts bleeding. Nose will start bleeding. Um, and blood gets on your clothes and on your hands and things like that. And it's actually pretty cool. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You must just you just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, sea trade, and haggling. In special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills, e.g., horsemanship. It is not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer. Because sometimes it's not enough to choose to ch just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. Hmm. Okay. But different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily no matter how well you dress. You won't impress the nobility easily. Uh, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress their nobility easily. That's because Henry's ability, abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared to the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well, or if you're skilled at reading people. Learn the perk Empathetic. Okay? Money, amount of money you have to pay. That is speech, skill, charisma, and strength. Okay. 
It's not just about stats though, the outcome is influenced by other factors, e.g. your reputation. When it, whether you're dirty or bleeding, etc., you can't outdo the nimble tongue or a merchant. If you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, or for example, you want to poison him a little first and then he'll be easier to persuade. So I can actually poison people in this. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. Okay, so yeah, like if you're busy speaking to someone and you do the whole intimidation thing, he's gonna look at you sort of really with a guard over there. I don't think you're gonna come near me, man. But essentially, yes. So let's see, what's this? Oh, great, I don't know. Um, well, I know how this is gonna end anyway, so just pay you drunk. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me, would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Well, come on then. Okay. Slash is strong, slow is strike. Stab. Like, with me, I actually learned that combos. You can actually learn to do combos. So, best thing to do first is stab and then follow up with a slash. And you can move your mouse by choosing your direction. And then it's like, bang. Ping, ping, bang. Okay. Opponent, this indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. The more wounded he is, the slower he will attack and react. When the end is near, he may either flee or surrender. Okay. Okay. Your wounds. Icons that notify when you're wounded and if you're bleeding. Yeah, like if you let's say you get, let's say your arm gets hurt. It will be, it will be more difficult for you to swing your sword. Let's say your foot gets hurt, you can't run. Things like that. Use an attack direction using up and down and left and right. You can't attack from a grayed out direction. Oh, so that's why he was blocking all my attacks the last time. Stamina. If your opponent strikes, hits your armor or block it, it will cost you stamina. When your stamina is completely depleted, you won't be able to defend yourself and will be wounded. Attacking will also deplete your stamina, especially when wielding a heavy weapon. If you cover yourself, if you cover yourself badly and your armor is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding, and bleeding will lead to death. The more your the more your health is depleted, the lower your maximum stamina. Okay, so let's. Dude, what the hell? Okay, jeez. Come on. Jeez, man. Okay. Yeah, you're being very sneaky, now, aren't you? No, back away. Woo! Dude, just die. Come on, let me get a. Oh, you lucky. Just, just dodged that. I know you are, but what am I? <sighs> oh, good move. Come on. Hit him in the face. Just, jeez. Damn, man. Okay. That's a lot harder than I remember. Oh, got you nice and hard in the face. Dude, this is a first fight. Don't point any jujitsu stuff on me. Jeez. Ow. Leave me alone. This is gonna take some time, guys. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought, man, that's what I thought. Enough, enough, I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? What? What the hell are you doing? Don't worry. Now, 
I need to go into his house and take his... And I got his key. So I can go in here. And in here. And I can take his hammer and his key, Hammer and nails. But I still need to get the axe. And that, unfortunately, I have to steal. So I'll just take all. Thank you. This game is, again, guys, super realistic. Okay, can you come in? All right, blacksmith boy. You got the better of me. Take what you want. But you haven't heard the last. Are you kidding me? Uh, on my previous playthrough, I actually crouched and then pressed E because when you crouch and take something, it counts as you stealing it. Whereas right here, it's not. Okay, wait, I need. Let me rather go off here to the trader because then I can haggle with the prices a little bit easier. That's all for today. Thank you kindly. I hope I have the pleasure of your visit. Hmm. The game's load times takes forever, but then again, my computer's also... It, my computer's okay. It's not as powerful as I want it to be. I mean, let's be honest, if anyone could use any computer in the world, we're looking at more like... If you live in South Africa, about 100,000 rand for an entire setup. Okay, yeah, let's trade. Hmm, okay, this is all your stuff. Do you have any weapons? Oh, you have a torch. Torches of it. Why, why am I so dumbed out? Oh, it's because I, I got an injured torso. Okay. So first, let me sell. Wait, let me sell this. Okay. Now, this is the cool thing. You can check boss and then I can haggle. Let's talk about the price. Yes. Sure, why not? Okay, my money, original purchase price, the last offer accepted by the trader. Okay. Okay, haggling. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means the other you, the trader, does not have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they will drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you are getting to the points from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful part of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Okay, cool. So, I need to lower this a little bit. Let me drop this down to 8.5. Yeah. Agree? It's not worth it to me. I guess you... So, let me drop it to 8. Ooh. Come on, please. It, then. Okay, fine. Jeez, go screw yourself. I'll just keep the X to myself then. And I'll go to the next trader. Hello, trader. Good health to you. And, and to you. Cool, let's trade. Oh, I can get a dagger. It's not. Spell, it's not. Farm horse retriever retailer's kit. No. Okay, I'd rather sell. Let's just sell. I can sell. I can sell the cheese. Um. Do I want to sell the cheese? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, I'll just sell one, so I can keep the other. Okay, and then hang on. Let me see, I'm gonna jump straight to eight on this one. No, not. I'm gonna jump straight. Just ten point ten point five. See if I can get 10.5. I'd like to discuss well. the price. Aye. Okay, let's jump this one straight to 10. 10.5. Yeah, let's try, let's try 10.5. Make offer. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. 
Okay, then what are you dropping it to 9.6? Then I'll meet you halfway. Well, a little bit more your way than my way on 10. Tough luck. Okay, fine. Jeez, I just want to get some gold. What the hell are you doing? Go shove yourself. But yeah, in this game, like a lot of RPGs, you just run through people. In this one, you actually physically bump into How them. I'm good, and you? Okay. Jeez. Did I sell? Did I sell it? Oh no, he won't buy it. He's a linen guy. Okay, let's go back to you. I think on my previous, on my first, the first time I played this, I was able to get like 12 on my first run and that was, that was good. So, okay, cool. Uh, check basket haggle. I'll always, no wait, I didn't, I didn't sell the cheese. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. How much is this? No. No, no, no. I want to, I want to sell the cheese as well. Look where you're going. You see what I mean? And I bet you every single time in dialogue, look what you're doing. Watch where you're going is going to pop up. So that, so that, so that, so that. Cool. Anything else? I'll get. Did the price? Yeah, the price of the cheese dropped. Just a little bit. Okay, let me haggle you down up to ten, and then down from there. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take it all the way up to. Oh, ten is a bit higher. At least it's one point two gold more. Make offer. Satisfied. Close. Drop the price a bit more, and we'll shake on it. Okay, cool. How much do you want? What about nine point four? You try and get as much gold out of me as possible. All right, so. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and now I have gold. So now I can go over to... Let me actually get go speak to the swords guy. Hey, I love this. It's, a, it's actually pretty cool. He teaches you um, fighting styles. And I have to do that first. It's part of the quest. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Coincidence. You have to leave. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Okay, story time. First time I played through this game, I actually I accidentally hit one of those horses over there, and um, I got the guards. Yeah, like, okay, this game doesn't like trees, but I got the guards chasing after me to the point where I need to pay debt. Sorry, I'm just taking my time because he takes forever to get up there, and it. And um, the guards came for me, and I couldn't pay because it was 200 gold that I had to pay them. Okay, oh, beautiful. And it was 200 gold which I had to pay them. Let me see. Am I still okay? No, I'm loaded in this time. Cool. Cross guard for your sword, door keys. Excellent. And I got the guards chasing off me, and I'm supposed to pay 200 gold. But I told him I don't have gold, so I went to prison. And okay, I'll I'll continue the story after this area, after this entire playthrough. That after this, after we get out of Scarlet's, they go yeah. Hello, 
Punch the- there you go. Cool. So, can we get started? Yes, we can. We can? Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. I just would like to see something. Can I actually Very bring it? Well. No, I cannot. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Okay. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay, so duh, 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 duh. Okay. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Very. Gotcha, boy. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay, now knowing me, I end up getting with a stab and then a slash. Yeah, agility plays a very big role in your fighting. Cool, I chain the strikes. Now what? Okay. Alright, that's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. No, they do not. But let me check something. Do I have any Okay, can I boost stuff? Perks. Ooh. Okay. What does this do? Carrying did on conscious body won't cost you any stamina. Block an opponent's blows. Okay. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. Heavy swing. Okay, dreadful. Foes are more likely to flee from combat with, with you. The ones who do fight will be less determined. Okay, can I actually get this? And uh, no. so I can choose Stronghold or Grave Digger. I'm gonna take Stronghold just so I'm able to block attacks better. Okay, take you away. Agility, do I have anything for you? No, I do not. Where else do I have stuff? Oh, just under the main level itself. Manly odor went dirty, you have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell your mile off reducing your staff skill. Your stamina will generate 20% faster at night. Slightly increases sight distance of fast travel and also the chance of invading by 10%. You grew up in, pro in improv impoverished conditions. So comfortable. So comfort of beds is inverted to you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep and vice versa. No, I won't take that. Hmm. I want to take Scout. This I can look a little bit further away. Cool, I'm level 2, guys! Awesome source. Speech, vitality. Okay, cool, my speech and my strength are going very high up. Okay. Now I need to go and get. Charcoal? Yes, charcoal. This game is beautiful, it's amazing. Just want to see something. Hmm. Are you with us? Mm, I'm gonna have to go no. This cause I've got stuff to do for my father. Anytime now.
Yeah, but no, I won't do it. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsche a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a chance like this? Just because I don't want to end up in trouble. Okay. So let's go over here to the... To... You get some... Okay. But he gets caught in everything. Like, look at that. Hello. Mm, Bianca. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin rubbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, <laughs> I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior. This is Shet. actually really realistic. Really? You're an angel. I hope you'll thank me properly later. You like, the body language of the characters are really realistic. But, um... Okay, the game ought to say from time to time at important points in each quest and when you sleep. If you want to save the game yourself, you must drink the savior snaps. Okay. What else do I need to do? Okay, everything's done. Let me go buy my father 10 bags of charcoal. Oh, coal. Oh, charcoal. Let's drain, man. Good health to you. I'd like to buy tin. Accept. Check basket. Haggle time. Okay, that's gonna be five gold. Can I negotiate them down to four? Let's have a word about the price. Okay, right. five gold. I would like to bring it down to four. To let's try four point three. about this come now just a little more and we're coming I'm gonna come up to 4.5 stick with that with 4.5 yeah awesome right. sauce now I just gotta go give sweet. everything to father run 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 meow meow and the cool thing is when you run out of stamina, it actually does this. It goes, look, blue. Jeez, I'm a hell of a lot fitter than I used to be. Let's talk to father and get everything out of the way.
About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. We'll fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. What, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rubbish, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together.
It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the okay. trunk in the living room. Very long cutscene. Henry, are you hmm. alright? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, what? Okay, we need to get the nails. I'm gonna pop in here. I'm actually gonna go right over here. So I can grab some noms. Yes, that's carrots. I'll take all the carrots. Can I get any other noms open? Ooh, awesome sauce. Got some good things. Anything? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff I can know. Not that. Ooh, cheese. Thank you for the cheese. Bread. Hmm. 15 apples. <laughs> I'm, looting my, I'm looting my own parents house. Open. Open it. I've got everything in there already. Anywhere else I can look? Hmm. And I think I've looked in there already. In there already I've looked. What about you? No. Oh, I can always get more apples. It's a babble. <laughs> Where the pleated bag? You are onions. Okay, nope. How about you? Take all the cabbages. I think I should have. I think I can sell all this stuff. So, yeah, this right here is gonna be about 12 gold. Uh, 3. Yeah. I'll be able to sell it for quite a bit of cash. Hmm, nope. Take the apple. Lentil soup. Ooh, I actually have food on the run now. Hmm, can I come around to the side and take the apples? Yes, I can. Give me the apples, man. I want the apples. Um, yes, I can get more. Okay, All right, that'll be enough for now. Can you eat up? No, okay. And let me just... what's this? Over one minute will cure light wounds or dispel hangover effects. That's cool. That is really cool. Oh no! Take all. Okay. That seems to be everything. Where do I sleep in this house? Because like... Oh, you know it. Yeah, I slept here. Where does mother and father sleep? Because this is the pantry. I don't see anything here. Is there anything here? Oh, no. Can I have a lockpick? No! Damn it. Hmm. I haven't actually tried my hand at lockpicking in this game. You may actually go find someone. I know that one of your friends. You can get lockpicks from one of your friends. So let me quickly go see if I can find them and ask them for lockpicks. Hmm. Watch. 
Okay, I can't find them, so let's just go here. Hello, Teresa. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Sorry, Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Awesome. Good sword. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. But you haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword? Yeah, Dad, and let try me try it. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Not a very good sword, isn't it? Way too much. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross yeah. again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. <laughs> It's been an honor, say Svan. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened?
Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. I find that very difficult to believe because that's chainmail they're wearing. Or play ten chain. I feel so sorry for Henry right now. I feel so sorry for Henry right now. Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! Find a horse! Ride to town, Burke! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moats! Okay, cool. Scarlet. So they're recruitment. Well, here's my sword. And yoink. Okay. Right to tell him about. Okay. Again, I feel so sorry for him. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. You see that? Because, like, even if you are the most baddest of all time, that will still get you a little bit hard. Okay, I know if I don't be careful. Okay. Yes, that's how I want to be the Awesome. Oh, see, I'm calling you. Awesome sauce. Let me get on you. Okay. Well, now the horse is just gonna stay on its path, so that's good. I hold shift, the horse just stays in the path. And I actually find it very cool. Because not a lot of games do that. 
Okay. What now? Ouch. That's painful. Well, this egg, okay, well, was loaded. Oof. Ouch. Okay, let's just rather get away from here as fast as possible. Um, I was actually doing a little bit of reading. And watching some videos and things like that. About, and I landed on this one video, um, labeled labeled to the knee left. because we need to go yet yeah, left, to the left okay. along the stream. Okay. labeled arrow to the knee and actually described um okay. I can read yeah. both so let me read this again and it actually described how getting an arrow to the knee in a world like this would actually really really affect you really badly and came to the point where if they had to use a barbed arrow, which is a triang which is a triangular type of arrow, which basically all the arrows are in Skyrim except for the Daedric and the Dragon Bone and the Ebony if I'm not mistaken. Um they can't just pull it out, they have to break it off and pu push it and push it all the way through. So now getting shot in the knee, what they would have to do is they would have to break your kneecap Cut that piece of arrow off and pull the entire knee, pull that arrow completely through the knee. Run for it. Okay, this hasn't loaded in yet. Okay, this game isn't like. Okay, you're getting tired, I know. This game isn't optimized really well. Okay, let's just say I'm not brought up. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here, man. I do not want to die. My first playthrough I died, I spent 30 minutes just in this part, I don't want to do it for this playthrough. Um, but as I was saying, they would have to break your kneecap entirely just to get a little... Okay, cool. Cuts it. I mean, have to be quiet now. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. 
Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, so, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Okay. Damn it, I'm hungry. So now let's go find you some food. Um, okay, it's a private area too. Lockpick, no I cannot. Oh, there's someone, hello someone. Bye bye someone. Okay. Let's see here. Speak to this man. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on okay. the stomach. Oh, 
I heard about your father. Stomach hurts. They say he was I'm a swordsman who lived in the me. countryside to make but what? an excuse for Ruby. Bitch! You want a problem? Oh. Okay, Watch I'm where really you're angry. going. Where's the kitchen? Please tell me this is the kitchen. Yes, this is the kitchen. Oh, yay. I didn't need that. Oh, oh, okay. I was about to say I had food, but okay. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Okay, well, I take it he doesn't like me. Okay. Hmm. It's not wise. Okay, let me rather just read this. Henry is a man of flesh and blood and say must eat and sleep to survive and stay fit. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer you go without food, the weaker you get. If you fast long enough, you can even die. But one food is not like the other. Ample won't fill you up like a roast duck. But it will stay fresh for longer, and some foods can be more effective for healing. The opposite of hunger is overeating. Stuffing yourself like a pig has an advantage that you won't need to eat for longer, but a full belly, a full belly will slow you down, and like with hunger, your stamina will regenerate more slowly. You can see where you need to eat in the player tab under the picture of Henry in the nourishment stat. You can see whether you're hungry or overstuffed, not only in the bus tab, but in the form of the icon next to your health indicator. Awesome source. Okay. Ooh. Very hungry. Just let me get to the table. We're stuck. Mm. Why? Oh, I need to go into my inventory to eat it. And uh, inventory. No, let's get rid of that. Food. Let me start off with lentil mash. Eat that. Okay. I'm still hungry. Lentil soup. Still hungry. Roast duck. They're still hungry. Jeez. Another slice of bread. Awesome sauce. But now I can actually take this roast duck and I can sell it because this is some very good things. More roast duck, thank you. I'll be taking a lot of cheese because I love cheese. Awesome. Anything else I can perhaps lick? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, hello. Bye bye. What happened to you? Okay, let me go see you. What is that? Oh, it's a bag or something. But now let me go to bed. I am very tired. Why am I going this way? Return here, yes. Oh wow. 
This is beautiful. This is a beautiful game. Can I take a torch? No? Damn it. Oh, I see my sword. Ah! Can I don't want to knock the archers yet, but okay. Not be very hard. I went beyond in there then. Jeez, look at that. This game is honestly one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. Witcher 3, of course, being the best. Jeez. And I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I am lost. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, cool. Let's take some arrows. Anyone can see me open. I'll take all of that. And I'll take all of that. Awesome sauce. And I have bows. And I have a bow. Can I take anything from you? No, I cannot. Not big hard. And you, okay, two. The sword comes out. Oh no, I actually need to equip it. Okay. Can I? Oh, awesome. Um, poor quality. Let's go with the poor quality error. So we want to see something. How does archery in this game work? So it's basically what's right in front of you. Oh no, it's a broken arrow now. Damn it. Okay, so let's see here. Over here, for example. Let me see how this works. Let me find a target that I can shoot. Is there? Yes, there is a torch. Okay, so basically right in front, so about... Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. That is not good. And it's going to be another broken error. So I don't need to do this. Okay, that puts it away. I can do this, and then... Boop. Okay, I see how it goes. Archery in this game is going to be a bitch. I might even go back to sword mode. In a lot of games, I'm an archer. Skyrim, Witcher 3. A lot of games, I'm an archer. It's just who I am. Ooh. Okay. Lockpick very easy. I need to get me a lockpick then. Let me get, let me get some long distance arrows. Oh man, I need a lockpick. I actually need to see where I can get a lockpick. I want to see what lockpicking in this game is like. I haven't actually lockpick. What are you? Nothing. Lockpick. Lockpick. Okay, I need to get a whole lot of lockpicks because this place looks very. seems very, very interesting. Is there a door? Yes, there is. Hello, door! Freedom! Awesome. That's actually so cool that you can that it actually physically draws your sword and puts it back. Okay, no, back to where I was. I am so freaking lost right now. I just I just want to find my bed, man. Oh jeez, and I'm back here. Is it perhaps no? There's not. There you are, hello. Okay, my bed should be somewhere. Where's my bed? Let's see here. So I should actually go up here. Oh, jeez. Let's look at this. Oh, my bed's gonna be over. Excuse me, please. Yes, I'm the fuck on my way. Yes, can I go around the other side? 
No. Okay. And get out of my way. Hey. Like I don't Jesus, not you. Where you I must want to die. But like I don't kill you. Okay. What the hell was that? Um great, I came in the wrong place. Damn it. Let me get out of here. Hey. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey. You don't clear off quick. Oh players! Jesus. NPCs, you guys are so fucking annoying. Yay, thank you. Bye bye. Jeez. These are insanely annoying NPCs. Right, can I actually go somewhere else? Uh, I'll take it on my sleeping here then. Yes. Okay, sit in the bed to launch sleep. <laughs> You fled for Ex a bit more fucking careful. excuse me. How long do I want to sleep for? Uh, sleep until morning. Oh, actually, when is your layers? Yeah, five in the morning. Oh. But anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, please smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And what the hell is going on now? Oh, okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, smash that like button. You want to see more? Subscribe. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Peace. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it.
I'm sorry, my lady, but I can't talk about it. Not yet. Everyone close to me died there. I'm sorry about what befell you. Thank you, my lady. I hope at least Radzik and those who managed to take cover are still all right. So do I. The worst thing is not being able to do anything to help them. No one can do anything against such an army. The king is in captivity, and the nobility at each other's throats. What is to become of us? God alone knows. True, lad. God alone knows. I should go. It's late. You must be tired. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. somewhere until it blows over maybe join forces ah you might be right Well, I never! Hey, you men down there! Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack! Quickly, do you understand? Put that weapon away before someone gets hurt! What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scallops. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give a scent to Scallops to spy on Sigismund, 
said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Ansig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark times. <laughs>